find the perfect solution, but there are clues that will try to trick our team. Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Caleb, and today we're going to be taking a look at Simon Shifts. So this is the way the module looks, and it's completely, it's actually completely a um, diffuser solo in that case, because this is essentially a sliding puzzle, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the status light to the center of the grid. But the catch with this is, is we need to make sure that we need to press a specific a set of colors um, before we actually get to the center. And as you would, as you would uh, suggest, as you would uh, assume, the colors that we need to press that are last are going to be the colors that are flashing. So, so how exactly do we do this? So, for those of you who are familiar with Mystic Square, it's one of the older, uh, it's one of the older Contain modules, actually on the Centurion itself. So it's very, very old. Uh, this sort of resembles that similar uh, concept with it. However, we're essentially uh, navigating the status light around, not the, uh, not just a blank space. This is actually a, a status light that we uh, can interact with, and this is how we submit the module once we're in the center of the grid. So, our goal, as we said before, is to get the to get the status light in the center by pressing a series of colors. And this, and in this case, our order of colors, the order is very important, mind you. It has to be in the exact order that these colors flash in. Is going to be red, purple, and cyan. So, uh, there will be three stages to this module, each uh, increasing by one flash. That does not necessarily mean it will be the same flashes every single time. So, let's get into this module. So. Um, what we need to do is we need to set it up such that we can perhaps wrap around a corner to press all three colors to get into the center. That's going to be our goal here. So what this means is that the cyan is essentially going to be going into the center. And what we can do is we can simply work from there. And the nice thing is, is that we actually can just completely interact with this. And after a little bit of pause, the colors will continue flashing and you'll actually hear the sound that they do, that they make. So let's start interacting with this and I'll, and I'll explain to you how the sliding puzzle works. So. Uh, simply, if you don't if you don't know how Mystic Square works, you can essentially press one of the adjacent squares to sort of shift it, uh, shift the status light with the um, with the color that it was in. That was in. It's just essentially swapping the positions, which is weird that the status light is doing that right now. But okay, I guess I shouldn't be shifting back and forth with a lot. But um, anyways, what we need to do is we need to essentially rearrange these colors such that red, purple, and cyan are our last three colors that we press in that order. And as I said before, if we happen to let it break for a little bit, it will flash the colors that we um, uh, that would, we would normally note down as, a, as our presses. So, so we need to get uh, red, purple, and cyan uh, into the middle position. So let's get cyan there. And instead of actually hitting red, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna rearrange red and purple such that red comes first and um, uh, and we can get to press, oh, for example, like right here, if all we need to do is we need to press red, purple, and cyan to get into the center, and then what we can do is we can simply press the status of that submission. So we need to press, so our last three presses will be um, red, purple, and cyan, which is exactly what we need it to be, so let's press red, purple, and cyan. And just like that, now there's four different flashes. Note that they're not the exact same as from, uh, from before, and uh, this is the and this is what we're going to be doing each time. So notice how I did sort of an L piece there, L shaped piece there to get to the center of the module. Now what we need to do is we need to essentially do a uh, uh, two by two grid sort of thing, and we need to essentially arrange that into um, sort of like a little box to get us into the center. So our first goal is going to be getting uh, magenta into the center. That's kind of the normally a good starting point in my opinion. Um, however, yellow happens to be first. Um, which is exactly where I needed to be. This might take a little bit of rearranging to do. So let's make sure we got the flashes right. We need yellow, red, yellow, red can stick together, and we need to essentially rearrange science so that we can get it over here. So let's get it. Uh, let's get these two guys up top here. This is already forming the box, so we need cyan to be where the status light currently is right now, so that we can start from green, start from green's position, and do yellow, red, cyan, and magenta to get to the center. So let's let's rearrange this. Um, so let's try and keep something moving this guy along, um, like this. And now what we can do is we can essentially just put the magenta back into the center, and now we can go to green and simply press yellow, red, cyan, and magenta. Now that our status light is in the center, we hit the status light, and now we get five different flashes. This model. Now, orange, blue, cyan, 
yellow, and purple. So essentially, uh, as you would as you would uh, suggest, we did a two by two grid from, for last stage, and now I'm gonna turn down the sound effects for this. All right. So now that we have that focus, sorry about that. It's a little loud after a while. Um, so essentially, we did a two by two grid last stage. We looped around uh, such that um, we put uh, the yellow in this position so that we could swap that with yellow. That was gonna be our first. Uh, four, first of four presses that were our last four, then red, then cyan, and magenta. So the catch with this is if we simply don't have to just swap one of these colors one of these times and then head back to the center. We need to put them in a position that that allows us that our last four color presses happen to be the colors that flash in order. So let's 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 work around this. So what we want to do is we want to probably put. Um, so let's say orange and blue are actually already in the correct spots. Let's say that they're in the correct spots, and what we can do is we can simply put um, the next color that flashes, in this case being cyan. If we put this in the bottom right, bottom left, that might work. However, that would be a little bit of work. So normally, the best way I can visualize it is probably going to be putting the orange in the top left, the blue in the top middle, the cyan in the top right, the yellow in the in the middle right, and the purple in the center. That's what, that's going to be our last color press that we need to do, and then we rearrange it so that we're over in the middle left position. And simply, what we can do is press these guys to get to the center. So let's do that. So let's let's try and rearrange orange and blue first. Let's get there. So let's simply just focus on these two right now. Uh, let's actually just focus on orange. Let's get that in the correct position. Um, I don't know why the status light is like that. It might be just because of my computer. It might be a full screen. It might be just an issue on my end. So if Quinn's watching this, don't worry about it. Um, if, if, if it, of course, is happening on multiple uh, multiple people's uh, ends, then that might be an issue. But again, this is my end, so just be careful with that. Um, so let's... Let's get the blue up right here. And now let's get the cyan. So the cyan is going to be the third color. So we have orange, blue. We need cyan right here up on the top right. So let's work on that. Um, let's get cyan right there. Uh, and now what we want to do is we want to get orange here. And let's rearrange. We actually want to swap the... Uh, I accidentally hit the status light, so don't worry about that. Um, apologies. That, ha that can happen, so just be careful with your presses. Um, so let's rearrange it such that the blue is in front. Um, here, put you down for now. Um, or actually, you know what we can do? We can put the cyan over on the uh, over on the side that's the orange, such that we can put the status light and simply loop it around, such that it can get in the correct order. So that would work. Um, so let's swap the um, cyan and orange that. Uh, okay. Um, so now let's get the orange over here. Okay. And now um, let's put you guys right there. So a lot of this is just going to be on the diffuser and then just kind of just playing around with it. Just making sure that you remember that you have to put them in the correct order. Um, Okay, now we're getting places. Yeah, so now we have orange, blue, cyan in the top row. So that means that these guys are good to go, and we need to simply get back. Um, we need to get to this position, but we need to make sure that yellow and purple are ready. Uh, purple is ready, but we need to make sure that yellow is ready. So let's do some swaps by search by circling around this. So let's do, um, and just like that, the yellow is in the correct position. Now let's get the purple in there. And just like that, we're ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press orange, blue, cyan, yellow, and purple to get to the center, as the colors suggest. And that would get us to the center, and that's what we need to do. So it's orange, purple, cyan, yellow, purple. Orange, blue, cyan, excuse me. Let's turn up the sound, the sound uh, effects again. Now that we can actually hear. We'll press the submit button. And just like that, this is all module. So let's do this one more time because it's a really simple concept. You need to build an L piece for the first stage. You need to build a square piece for the second stage. And you need to build a square piece with one piece sticking out. Is kind of the way that I refer to it uh, for the fifth stage, for the third stage. So it's kind of just building on top of each other. And it's just rearranging it such that you happen to get 
um, the colors in the correct positions. Uh, it, it can take a little bit of getting used to, especially if you're not familiar with those kinds of sliding puzzles. But if you're familiar with Mystic Square, uh, it's it's nothing new. It's just you have to now press a specific series of colors to make sure that you get the correct order. We'll take a look at one final example. It's just rinse and repeat, but with different colors. As you can see, there was different colors that flashed um, that were not consistent with sort of like similar Simon modules that are just kind of just building on top of each other. Each of them are a different series. I'm going to turn down the sound effects volume for a little bit, and I'm going to start working with this. So we need to press magenta, um, blue, and cyan. Now, probably our best approach is actually just uh, building the magenta, uh, blue, and cyan like this. And just like that, it's actually ready to go. So magenta, blue, and cyan, just to make sure. And those are the three colors that we need to press as our last three. And just like that, we can, and now we're in the middle and we can hit the status light to submit, to submit that stage. So orange, yellow, uh, green, and purple. So we can do, uh, let's get orange and yellow together. So anyways, we have these guys up right here, and we need to get um, the green and the purple. Green needs to be in the middle right, and purple needs to be in the dead center. So let's work on that. So let's work with these guys. So, um, and just like that, green and purple, if we happen to take a look at it now. And just like that, if we get to the top left, we can simply press orange, yellow, green, and purple to get to the center. And just like that, is a stage done. Next up, we have purple, blue, magenta, cyan, yellow. Purple, blue, magenta, cyan, yellow. So we want to get purple up to the top left, and we want to get blue up to the top middle. Now, of course, any of this can be rotated as long as you understand how to get to the actual center, uh, and as long as you understand have a have a good idea of how the pieces actually look. Um, you should be totally fine. So let's get um, purple and blue up there, like such. And let's make sure what, what's going to be our next color. The next color is magenta. Okay. So we need to get magenta up top. So now, what we want to do is we want to get over here make sure that we can uh, keep these guys in the same order, but also make sure that we can move this magenta up perfectly fine. Now we can move these guys back into place and we have purple, blue, magenta. What's gonna be our next two colors? So cyan and yellow. So we need cyan to be in the middle right and we need yellow to be in the dead center. So first things first, let's focus on the cyan because the yellow, if it, as long as it's over here, we can get it into the center perfectly fine. Let's get the cyan right there, that's perfect. Um, and now what we can do is we can simply just rotate around this little 2x2 two two grid to get yellow to the center. And just like that, the module is ready to be set up and then submitted into the module. So purple, blue, uh, magenta, cyan, yellow. And just like that, purple, blue, magenta, cyan, and yellow. Status light is in the middle now. And just like that is a sweet rave party. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.